Hey guys, Kills for Frills here, and we are back again with some more Project Zomboid, where we follow Tony Kane in his journey through the Last of Us playthrough. So, where did we leave off? Let's have a little look on the map. Uh, let's get my little red icon so we can see. So, we're just working our way down the coast here. Coast? River? Whatever the hell you want to call this. Sea? I don't know what it is. Uh, we are in Louisville, by the way, and we are making our way down the housing system. We live in this one here. This one down here is... Actually, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm going to put a circle around that as well. So I know that's my main base. This one down here is basically just a, an outpost. It's the safest house that we can find. Now, I feel like we generally need to... Well, generally, kind of need to just push and keep going down the riverside. I'm going to use this as like a a safe house. So I'm going to I'm gonna dump all of my gear that I've got on me. I'm going to smash it in here because I've got a lot of stuff on me. Let's face it. I don't need to be carrying two pairs of rain boots, military boots, sugar, margarine and all that stuff around with me and books and whatnot. I don't need any of that. I'm going to dump that all in there and see how that goes. Get rid of that. Sort out my gear and then we can move on and carry on looting up some of these buildings. This should, uh, should sort us out. Once we've done that, we can always just pass back through and take everything back home again. Um, I'm hoping, actually, I, I just kind of want to settle. Put that in there. Kind of make it like a like a proper settlement. Live there, loot loads of gear. Just basically round everything up. I know, like, I just threw it on the floor, didn't I? Bloody hell, why does it change? I know I normally get in Louisville and I always die, like, straight off the bat, but... I'm going to survive this one. I have a good feelings about it. Maybe. <laughs> How much weight we got on us now? 10 out of 15. Feel like we're going to need the crowbar. Not so much the baseball bat. I might switch over to that at some point. Come on, man. Put the baseball bat away. Right, I'm going to sort myself out. Right, that's that sorted. Let's push on. Let's get pushing on through these houses and see what we can find. We found a car. So ideally, what I'd like to do is I'd like to find some fuel. And then we can just load it up with some gas and then go from there. I didn't bring a gas can with me. Oh, here we go. I'm using a lot of different mods for this as well. If you want to know what they are, they are in a link in the description. I made a mod list. They're all in there. Other than the uh, the sound mod for the zombies. I haven't had time to put that in there yet, but I will. It's basically just, I think it's called The Last of Us Sounds of the Infected. That's the one that changes the audio of all the zombies. Turns me into more kind of like The Last of Us audio, like the clickers and stuff like that. Just gonna get rid of these. Come on in, I'm really fresh. I've just eaten, I've had a good nap. Real happy to go and cave in some skulls. Yeah, there we go. Just come on, mate. Put it down. There we go. I've got the uh, 10 years later mod as well. So that's on. And I've also set the uh, well 12 months after... Where's he going? After the old uh, zombie apocalypse. I can hear him. I can't bloody see him. So the world is in a is a proper mess. All the zombies are proper de oh, decaying. And everything just looks like... Is he coming out or is he just going to stay there? Dude, get out of the trees. How can you not know I'm here? I, I tell you what, you live in that tree now, mate. You live in that tree. You want to stay there, you stay there. You have a great time. All right, we'll move on. Son of a bitch is going to sneak up on me and he's going to ruin my day. I knew I need to kill him. Jesus Christ. That boathouse is proper boarded up. Might actually have to break into there and see what we can get. Just going to murk my way through these. Right, I'm going to see if I can break into this boathouse. I want to see what's in here. Hold on, there's a window there. Why don't I just take the window? I didn't even see it. It is open. All right, and you get... Please don't glitch and fall into the water. I don't know if that's a thing. Oh, it's bloody empty. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Not ideal. Not a place you want to be. No. Thank you. Let's get out of it as soon as I can. Good, good. Don't want to be stuck in the boathouse. Not with a zombie. I don't want that plank as well. I'm going to lob that on the floor. We can get planks. Don't worry. We can get them. Our base is looking nice, though. 
It needs a bit more securing. Oh my god, that garage is uh got a metal sheet on the wall in the window. Let's just ruin this one's day. There we go. Oh my god. Why are they coming from over there? Alright, well, I mean more lambs to the slaughter. Come on then. What the hell? That can't be like a random event, surely. Like they made their way from the other side of the fence to get to me. But the other ones that are around there just just standing there. Alright, well, whatever. We do with them. So uh, I'm gonna go around and do the old thing I normally do. Go around the perimeter of the building. Murder all the zombies that are around the outside. And then we'll go in. Alright, well this is a, a, it's a heavier zombie resistance. Jesus Christ! They're all like going for me from every direction. I don't understand it. I'm not, I'm not making any noises, guys. Just caving in some zombies. That's all I want to do. I've got my crowbar. I forgot. I need to keep an eye on that. Oh, Jesus. Oh, even I felt those hits. Woo. So I can't get the zombie out of the trees, but I can pull the zombies from around the entire block. Nice. Okay. Well, I'm not complaining. Well, I can't am. But I like it. Just means uh, more zombies to the kill count then, doesn't it? Of which, by the way, I'm adding up all the zombies I kill in this game for the entire year. And then at the end of the year, I'm going to, I don't know, let you know how many zombies I exterminated. I feel like that was actually a viewer's um, idea. Said I should add it up. And then uh, let you all know how many zombies I kill. I'm actually curious because I'm pretty sure it's quite a lot. I mean, my last playthrough, I'm pretty sure killed over a thousand zombies. But this guy is on about 300 already. Is he on? 236. So he's, he's killing quite a lot, which is insane considering the small area we're working with. He's hungry already. I'm going to starve him a little bit because he is a beast. Um, and I feel like he needs to lose a lot of weight. Right there. I'm doing it for his health and my food. Alright, turns out that this wasn't a garage. Turns out that this was a bar. Hell yeah, there's got to be some bourbon in here. We don't want the wine. We don't want the beer. No, come on. Give me something good. Something nice that I'm... Oh, pop. that do. Where is it? There it is. We'll take the pop. We'll take that. It's not ideal. Come on, my mouse movements today are over a bit off. Cut the lighters. Take them. Take the peanuts. Why not? Might eat them in a minute, actually. He's quite hungry. Another lighter. Not bad. Oh, this is quite nice in here, actually. Chips. Tortilla chips. Some more pop. I mean, to be fair, he could probably do without the chips and the tortilla chips. He needs to be working more on the old salads. Oh, also, power is out. Water is also out. That was out day one. So we haven't got any of that. Is that back door wide open? It is. Nice. I tell you what, we'll just walk straight in the back door. Now, there is a zombie in here. I can hear her. Or him. I can hear it. I don't really class them as anything these days because they're all infected. They're all fungus. They're all having a great time. Where are they? All right. It's upstairs. There it is. I knew I could hear it. And it was a she. What a guess. Wow. I mean, Jesus Christ. Couldn't hit any weaker, can I? Oh, there's another one. Where's this one, though? In here? Here we go. Yes, knew it. Sorry to disturb, but... Needed to. Right, okay. I feel like this house is clear. Oh, well, we've done that, which is good. Um, what we're going to do? Round up all the items, dump them on the floor downstairs, ready to be picked up for when I come through again. Yes, a four color big pen. Oh, I've been after one of these for so long. Now I can ditch these two bloody pens. I don't need them anymore. I think it's now it's time to uh, search the old property and see what we can find. I'll come back if there's anything interesting. Oh, look at that for luck. Leather gloves and a crowbar, both in the same cabinet. 
Two swords is funny enough. As much as I like to have a crowbar, I wouldn't say no to an axe. You know? Just I just really want really, really want an axe. I really want an axe. If I find an axe, I can do my base. But the old uh, RNG gods are not giving it to me. Oh, we got a gun. We'll take that. We're probably not going to use it just yet. We got a shotty as well. That's somewhere. I think that's back at base. I think we've got two of those bad boys. That's what you get for uh, sorting out the coppers. Woo! Hell yes! Hiking backpack. Oh, yes. Taking that, that bad boy is going on. We've got a crowbar as well. Another crowbar. Nice, nice. We're doing good. We're doing all right, actually. I feel like I kind of want to take a lot of this stuff with me. I'm going to take the wires and, and the torch because I'm using them at the moment. It's I've put it on so it gets like extra dark. So having the wires and the torch is, um, is much better, if you ask me. Let's lob that on the floor. We'll take everything out of there. Right, what's the time? 5.20. That's plenty of time. We can keep going. What am I missing from my tool belt? I'm missing something. I think I'm missing a weapon. A hammer, maybe? Oh, I'm missing the hammer. I am not leaving my hammer behind. I'm going to take that with me. That is staying with me. I'm not going to leave that behind. Always keep the hammer and the saw and stuff like that with me. Just in case, you know. Just in case I need to, I don't know rip up a floor or do some sort of emergency building because I mess up, which is highly likely. Next property, here we come. Oh, dude. This place has got a greenhouse. Now, I don't know if that has any, any effect. Like, does a greenhouse help with growing plants and stuff? Jesus Christ, I sat that one down, didn't I? Man, you can hear them. They're everywhere. I love this audio sound pack for this. The Last of Us sounds. Man, I kind of prefer it to the normal zombie sounds. To be... Oh, didn't see that one. Too busy looting. Too busy looting. Why would you barricade up your greenhouse? Like, clearly that's not a good place to want to live in. Or even try and survive in. The whole place is made out of glass. It's a bit of a nightmare. The hell? That dude's got a spear hanging out his gut. Oh, yes, please. Yes, please. I want that. Oh, I definitely want that spear. Hell yes. Uh, where is it? Spear with knife attached. Oh. Yeah, that's going on. I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that now, I think. Let's get that bad boy out. Oh, yes. Make our way down the... Actually, I'm not going to go down the docks. I'm going to pull these guys out. They can come to me. Let's have a little test of this. Oh! oh one shot! Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Holy crap. Come on, in. I bet it's weak, though. <laughs> you tell I don't use spears very often. Man, that is cool. I don't want to be caught on that dock. If I get stuck there, I'm as good as dead. But that's open. I'm not going to go in there just yet. I'm going to make my way around the outside. Usual. Oh, dear. Oh. Jackpot. Still in this house. I'm upstairs now. Leather coat. Oh, God. That's like gold dust. Especially in a world where everybody's dead and they like it's like a year after the apocalypse. Why have I got two crowbars in my main inventory? I do not know. Yeah. Main, like, leather coat. Man, that sort of stuff's hard to find. Hard to find. Because it's all wrecked. Like, everyone's rotten and everything's ripped and falling apart. I didn't think about that when I said it to 12 months later. Well, 10 years later plus 12 months after the apocalypse sort of thing. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. But I did not think about that. But... Oh, well, we got a leather coat. Leather gloves, leather coat. All we need now is leather trousers. Start our own little boy band. Right. Oh, wrong button. Especially with this helmet. What are we looking for? We need... What's the time? 21.20. We are tired. 
feel like this might be an okay house to have a little nap in. I've annihilated all the zombies around the area. I'm going to loot downstairs a bit more because I haven't really touched the kitchen area at all. Taxi key? Oh, there's a key to the taxi as well. Oh, man, that's going to be good. We've got two cars now. I'll have to mark that on the map as well so we can take that bad boy home as well. Um, There's no fuel in the taxi, though. I looked, unfortunately. What is that on the unit? Bowl of stew, rotten. No, that's like 12 months out of date. Thank you. Wow, you'd think for a greenhouse it might actually have some stuff in it that you could use, but no. I found a welding torch and some bars. Uh, get out the trees before you rip your new bloody coat. What's wrong with you? Please don't rip my coat. It's rare. It's a rare thing. There's nothing in the greenhouse. Right, I'm getting ready for bed. Sod this. I'm just going to read a book and chill out. Right, sleep is done. It looks real foggy outside, though. I'm not keen about going outside when it's foggy, but... You've got to do what you've got to do, I suppose. We need to survive. I'm going to dump all this stuff on the floor. I'll probably just put it here. So I know I can come back around and pick it up. No, I'm not. Oh, we got company. You look like you've escaped from the... Never mind, the hospital. Oh my god, that is almost broken. I don't want to lose the spear. I like the spear. It's my favourite. Damn it. Right, I'm dumping my gear. We're going to get ready to move on to the next house. Man, it's so foggy. I can't see anything. They're literally just coming out of nowhere at the moment. I mean, it's clearing up a little bit. It was worse, but it's not so bad. I mean, it is bad. Still can't bloody see. Oh, three o'clock alarm. Turn that bad boy off just in case. Don't fancy that going off. Right, next house. And then I think there's another one just up there. We'll go do that one as well. Oh, I feel like this house is clear. What I need to do now is just loot the place. And we're good to go. Thing is, because I've got a mod where you can set uh, less food in the game. So I think I set it to like 75, maybe 50% less food. I can't remember which settings it on. Um, it kind of forces you to have to go out and loot because there's not that much food in the world. So you have to go out. I can't just sit in the base. If I don't loot these houses... I'm not going to have anything to eat. We'll be screwed. We'll run out of food so quick. Ooh. Nice. All right, that's another house down. Another house on the block. Annihilated. More neighbors destroyed. Get a nice little view of this. There we go. Spear in the mush. Spear in your mush. You want some? Spear in your mush too. There we go. Oh, there's one left. Ow. You ruined it. Oh, stabbing him in the balls. There we go, in the chest. That's where we want it. What you got? Anything? School bag? Nah, oh, nothing. Oh, you're not one of... Oh! Aha! Not mess up the river, man. There we go. Let's not screw that river up. Man, that place is really small. Look at the gap between that. I bet you any money, though, if that was UK, someone will try whacking a house in there. And you could probably cut that in half and I'd still try and whack a free four-bedroom house in it. And then I'd call it luxury. Ah, oh, God. Places, properties are so small. Right, what we got here? We've got another house. There's like a nice little gazebo. Damn it, I wish I had a gazebo in the other property. It looks so nice. I'm going for luxury this time, you know? I know it's a zombie apocalypse and all, but I want luxury. I want it to look nice. I want it to be lovely, clean, tidy. Rip up all the roots and the vines, although I've been away from the house quite a lot. It's probably all bloody grown back. If it's grown back, I'm not cleaning it up every single time. Stab him in the... Oh, didn't work. Stab him in the face. There it is. Oh, that doesn't look like a house, though. What is that? Oh, it's essential laundry. <gasps> Gas station. Oh, there's going to be no power. Oh, I need to get a generator up and running. Well, at least we know where there's a gas station. That's going to be pretty tasty. Hell yeah. I, might, I still might clear it out. I'm going to clear it out. I'm going to clear out everything on the way over there. I feel like we kind of need to. I don't know what's over there. It's pretty dark. But this looks like it might be the last house now. Which is nice. Because quite frankly, I'm getting a bit fed up. I'm having to clear houses. It's a long drawn out process. But 
Slow and steady wins the race. There's no point in steaming in. Actually, kind of steaming. Can't help it. Kind of like it. Going to eliminate some of these guys on the road, I think. My spear's almost out, though. I feel like it's got maybe a couple of swings left in it. But then I really need to switch over the crowbar, which is almost out as well. God damn it. Come on, guys. Don't walk off. I love the way this 10 years later mod works. It makes the world look amazing. This is so good. So good. I was right. I knew the spear would break. It broke first zombie. <laughs> Had to run away. Had to run away. I'm a proud man. I'll own up. I'll own up. Yeah, I ran away. I ran away from some zombies. And you guys would too. If your spear broke and you're just standing there like, oh my god, what do I do? There's loads of them. Although these aren't really zombies anymore. They're just infected. Looking to give me that horrible infection kiss thing that they do on the program. Of which, by the way, I am absolutely loving the Last of Us program. Woo! Series is good. Can't wait to see more of it. Come on. Come on. He's a swapper then. Sorted. Ah, I remember when I first started playing this, I'd be like, oh my god, there's a massive group. I can't take them on. Now I'm just like, oh. There's 10 zombies. I'll just cave them in. Not an issue. Not a problem, see? Not a problem. I've gone all ballsy. I'm brave. Man, I'm not even attacking that house. I should be going. I'll, I'll do this one. I'll go back and do that house. All right, love. How's it going? You dead? Yep. I'm a little bit sorry. How many have I killed now? 301 zombies, 10 days. Holy crap. And that's barely even touching the population of Louisville. We're still on the outskirts. It's getting... <laughs> it's getting... I suppose we just have to survive and thrive and... Annihilate as many zombies in Louisville as we can. I mean, if we can take out the population of Louisville, that'd be amazing. Probably not going to survive that long, but... At least we got past episode one. I'll survive that long, at least. Damn it, doors lock. Uh... Window. Uh, looks like the zombie's trying to help me into the back door. Uh oh, I heard someone from behind me there. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, I did. I knew it. That banging's uh, got the attention of a few more. I don't know where these have come from, actually. I cleared out that area completely. They must have strolled in from the other side of the fence. Come on. Put some oomph into it, mate. There it is. Where did they come from? Listen to that zombie. I tell you what, The Last of Us sounds. I'm just going to keep it. I love The Last of Us sounds. I'm not turning it off. I really like it. I really like the way it sounds. I think, I think to be honest, it sounds better than the normal zombies do. It makes it really freaky a little bit. And I kind of enjoy it. A bit weird. Crying out loud. All right. Let's take the door out. You're not doing much breaking down, love. Come on. I feel like I'm the one that's trying to break in. You're just kind of standing there. You're meant to be trying to get to me. Stop, stop screaming at me. Oh, I'm tired. Makes sense, I suppose. Sit on the ground. We'll have a little rest. Oh, nice. Try to break into the back door. It would seem that I uh, gained the intention of the police. And he, uh, he came over and dropped me off a brand new... Uh, Bulletproof vest. Ah. Oh. That was me thinking to myself, we're going to have to go to a police station to go find some sort of, you know, armor or some sort. Now we don't have to. I mean, I'm still Genu. I'm a bit aware that there's a lot of zombies walking around out here lately. Still going to go to the police station at some point, obviously. I'm not going to miss that opportunity. That would be fun, especially in Louisville. Jesus Christ, that would be a nightmare. Right, there's still uh, zombies inside this building somewhere. I can hear them, so I've got to be careful. I don't know where they are. They're probably upstairs, to be honest. In the office? No, I'm going to explore. Oh, I found them. Garage. Sorry. One day, that's going to be real bad for me. I'm going to do that, and there's just going to be so many zombies in there. Right, there's more. They're probably upstairs, though. Man, I went in that door sideways. That's stupid. We got in here anyway. Electric guitar, drumsticks, and an electric guitar. 
Never mind. All right, this house is clear. There's nothing left in here. No zombies, just me and some food. I'm going to read because it's 7.50 um, and my guy's tired. And then I feel like after here, actually, let's have a look on the map. Where are we? We are here. I'm going to put a little circle on it anyway because we need it. We got this. I mean, we've discovered the majority of Louisville now with maps. I don't know what this section here is, but I'm guessing it's probably just housing estate. We've got the uh, the old laundrette, probably gas station down here. I feel like we're probably going to go there. I, know, I don't know what this is. And I sure as hell don't know what this is, but it looks interesting to me. I feel like we're going to have a little look at that. We could make our way down the river still and just search all these properties over here. It's going to be a lot of zombies to kill, but I cannot wait to get into the centre of Louisville. I cannot wait. It's going to be real good. Come a long way. We've uncovered a lot of the map, to be honest. And we've still got these houses down here to cover. We're doing good. We're doing good. Let's read and uh, chill out now before bedtime. Right, I'm ready. Everything's dumped. I've got quite a bit of room. It's time. It's time we hit that high street. Not the high street, but the main way. The motorway. That one. The main way. Motorway. Whatever. Words found me. The road. Where, you know, those things with metal shells and huge wheels go on. Cars. That's the word. Right. I'm heading over to this section. This is a big fence. I could probably just hop that to be honest. But I don't fancy getting surprised by any of the zombies that are in the air. Man, there's more houses to loot. Are they? Seriously? Seriously? Come on in. I'm not even in there yet. Shut up. There we go. And that's how you do it. That is how you deal with the zombies. Screw them. Oh, you don't screw zombies. That's disgusting. That's necrophilia. No one likes that. Well, I mean, some people like that. I don't like it. Not that I tried it. Let's dig in this hole a bit deeper. That's generally what happens with necrophilia as well. All right, let's move on. Here we go. First horde in the area. Come on in. Nice top. It's a shame. Oh, whoa. No. Let's aim properly, shall we? Lead him back into the garden, because I know that's clear. I want my spear back. My crowbar's probably going to break. Man, are those going on? Can flatten in... Oh, that's going to be panicking a little bit, probably. There we go. Where have we done him anyway? That was horrible. That was almost a bite. Where did that connect? Did that even connect? No, it didn't. Ooh. No, it didn't. Thank God for that. I want to ruin my nice new clothes. We've had too many close calls with zombies almost biting us as it is, you know. I don't want more. Not a chance. Not a chance. What well, we got? Nothing. All right. Here comes the rest. Coming in. Yeah, whatever. Just want to get in that gas station and just want to look at the gas pumps and know that there's gas in there and I can't get it out. Although 12 months later, that gas is probably like water right now. Or gunk. Just goo. Goes off, doesn't it? gas after a while what is that that looks like some sort of factory it's a massive fence around it as well it's kind of secure if there's no other way in there that would be a nice friggin outpost if it's a giant factory right usual routine walk around the outside of the building then we'll get our asses inside if i survive the outside oh i just jumped in his van and found the key in the glove compartment that is nice. That is nice. We've got a key for the van. I don't know what condition. It looks like it's in all right condition. Let's unlock the boot. Oh, man. If this van is good, I feel like we're going to... We'll probably use it, to be fair. Making sure there's no zombies sneaking up on me. What is it like? I mean, it's not ideal. It's only gas. Where's the gas? Gas, gas, gas. Uh, no. Damn it. They've never got any gas in them. It's not ideal, but it's a van. Can hold a hell of a lot more gear than the old taxi in the other car. I just want to make note of the ones that I've got, you know. I'll put that on the map as well, I think. Tires, rubber bands. Amazing. Amazing. One of these has got to have gas in them. I only even got a gas can. Right, this is weird. This uh, this gas station is mega empty. Like, 
not just empty, like mega empty. I've come across almost zero resistance in this place. I don't know why. I feel a little bit like the game's trying to set me up for an ambush. I always feel uneasy when it does this, like really uneasy. Because, oh, boxes of screws, I take them. Because I always feel like there's normally a lot of zombies around these places, right? Especially places like this. Surely. I haven't checked the bins. I'm going to check the bins. Hmm. Feel like it's doing me. I feel like something's going on. Right. Just finishing the laundrette area. It's a bit weird having a laundrette attached to a uh, gas station. Never seen that before. Actually, ever. But anyway, we've managed to get ourselves a whole new set of clothing, basically. Or the majority of our clothing is now brand new, which is oh, melted ice cream, which is really nice. Actually, they've got the freezer section, haven't they? No, melted ice cream. God damn it. What's in here? Oh, water bottles. Oh, man, we're going to stock up on food and drink in here. This is going to be great. This is a awesome place. What we've got? Burrito, rotten, rotten, rotten. God damn it. We don't need the toilet. We don't need the toilet. And going to the toilet in this zombie apocalypse would be a nightmare, wouldn't it? You'd have to have someone to constantly watch your ass. Not in that way, because that's weird, right? You don't want anyone to watch your ass when you're on the car, Zee. But what you want to do is you want someone to watch the door. That's what I meant, not your ass. Because you don't want to get eaten on the car, Zee, do you? That'd be uh, not the most ideal way to go. Choco cakes. Oh, eat a chocolate cake. Right. Let's just get the rest of what we can find in here. And then we'll raid the cars outside. Got another key for a car. Taxi key. It means there's a taxi outside that we can use. Problem is, we just need to find it. It's got to be out there somewhere, surely. Man, we've got so much drink. This is perfect. Like, absolutely perfect. This is what I was looking for. Some nuts. That's what I was looking for. Some peanuts. We just need fuel. I know one of the... I've got... I know the location of two generators. I've marked them on the map. Problem is... I don't know if I can pick them up yet. And, plus, and then I forgot how to pick them up. But now I know how to pick them up. I can head back to get them. Because someone commented and let me know. Which is nice. Now I know how to pick up generators. I need to go back and see if I can actually collect it. I could do that on the way through though. Man, there's like no one around. They're all over there. I suppose they're going to come in and kind of ruin my day in a bit. This must be the taxi. Yeah, once again, no gas. It looks like it's in good condition, though. So that's two cars we've got keys for in this place. Which is actually pretty damn good. Uh oh, they're going to be coming over anytime soon, I know. Uh, I don't have a gas can. with. Ah, oh, it's got gas tank. Damn it, it's got gas. So I don't have a gas can on me. And believe it or not, in the entire gas station, there is not a single gas can. Damn it. Get in the car, dude. Come on. Find that sweet green spot. There it is. Get in. Jesus. Took his time, didn't he? Oh, man. Hopefully, we can find a gas can in one of these. If we can, we can grab a car and drive it home. Won't be ideal because I know the zombies will just follow me home. But at least, at least we can get gas. And a vehicle home. I'm probably going to go for that van, to be honest. Come on. Let me in. Yeah, I need to sort out these zombies. Hey, I knew they'd see me. It was only a matter of time, but... Oh, took all three of them down. Nice. That's a pretty powerful arm you got there, pal. Pretty powerful. There we go. Oh, no. Just don't let them get too close. Don't let them get too close. Back pedal. Infected are on their way. I love the sound they make. It's so good. So good. There we go. Let's get rid of this bird. She looks like a screamer. There we go. Not in that way. I mean like from like seven days to die. Right. What have we got? Nothing. And... Ugh. Proximity... Proximity... Inventory is amazing. If I didn't have that, I'd have to search each one of these bodies one at a time. And I just wouldn't do it. 
No chance will I do that. Was that all of them? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, well. Let's get to looting these cars and see what we find. If we find a gas can, we get ourselves a vehicle. If we can't, then we'll have to chi. chi, chi. We'll have to see if we can get a generator up here. Oh, we've got a gas can. Hell yes. We can get fuel. We can get fuel. That one's empty anyway. The only car with fuel is that white one. Hopefully, we've got more. If we can get more... We can, uh, we can we can fill up the car and take it home. Oh, do you know what? I'm just going to smash the window. Get in the car, mate. Get in the car. Don't sit on the glass. Louisville map, why not? Let's change seats. Get into the other one. I don't even know why we changed seats. We didn't need to. The boot's already unlocked. Let's have a little look see if there's any gas. Right. I've decided I'm not going to get the car just yet. I don't feel like pulling zombies back to us is a good idea. My base isn't fully secure. I still need to secure the back area. Uh, and if I pull them to me... Man, I can't... I can't get any gas out of that. If I pull them to me, then... Um, they're just going to walk around the empty... Well, the, 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 the side of the building and get in the uh, back doors, aren't they? Not secure. Not safe. Especially in Louisville. I'll hold out on the car. I know it's here. I'm pretty sure I've marked it on the map. Yeah, look. Gas, car. And then we've got another car here. And we own another car there as well. There's a generator in there. So I can see if I can get that. But I am going to siphon the fuel out of that car. And then, well, we can drive home and get the rest of the gear. Not drive home, but walk home and get the rest of the gear on the way there. All right. Well, this place is well and truly looted. We got that gas out of that vehicle. We got a 10% gas in that uh, gas can. That's the word I'm looking for. The van is in better condition. I've been looking around. It's in much better condition than the taxi. Uh, what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to end this one here. And then what I'll do is I'll walk home and I'll loot up the rest of that gear as I go through. And uh, I'll check out the other vehicles that I've seen. Because I haven't checked them all for gas. I don't know if they've got them. So I'll have a look in each of the houses and see if the vehicles there have got gas. If they have, I'll loot it. And then I'll secure my house and come back for this taxi. because, Or no, the van, sorry. Because I feel like it's in better condition than the others. I'll have a look at the others as well. Because there is a couple down there that does have the ability to drive. Or I do have, does, does do. But I have the keys. Oh, what's going on? Why is it doing that music? No one. All right, well, I've got to, I better get to it. I'm going to be busy. So, yeah, thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more, subscribe. If you want to play these mods, you can. Link is in the description. It takes you to the old uh, Steam Workshop page where you can get all the mods. That's a nice list of them there. That's everything that I'm using on here, apart from the Sounds of the Infected. But that's just called uh, Project Zomboid, The Last of Us Sounds of the Infected mod, and you'll get that straight away. Uh, I have a Discord. If you'd like to join, feel free. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for coming. Bye. Thank you.